summer 2010, an anxious city awaits as the clock of existence ticks and its very purpose realized a small but unyielding group of citizens collectively yearn for the arrival of one man. Free agents possibly on the radar. Go. Ilya Kovalchuk, obviously. Sergey Gonchar. Zebnik Mahalik. Paul Martin. Dan Hamus. Curtis Foster. Heinrich Talinder. Anton Volchenkov. Ray Whitney. Hmm? Ilya Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk's gonna be on the case. It's a matter of time. I mean, there's probably stitching his uh, letters on the jersey. That's about it. Just dotting the I's, crossing the T's on the contract. Uh, it's a matter of time, you know. I'm hitting refresh on TSN. Expect to see it any second now. Yeah, Kobe will be a king. Oh, I'm definitely getting the Kings Kovalchuk jersey. All right, what's up, guys? It's uh, end of day one of free agency, and uh, we have signed no one. No one. Ilya Kovalchuk is not a king. No, not yet. Not yet. Although I reports on Twitter say that he's very close, as well as with New Jersey and other teams. Um, but we got nobody. Yeah, we got nobody. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Keith, so day two. Ilya Kovalchuk, still not a king? No, not at all. But n numbers are coming out, though. They are coming out. They're coming out. Uh, $10 million every year for 10 years for a $100 million contract mm. for Ilya Kovalchuk. Really? You know, I like the guy. He's a high-impact player. Sure. Obviously someone we need, but that's too devastating to our salary cap right now. I just, I don't see that happening. Who's going to pay him $10 million? Nobody's going to pay him for that. Kovalchuk, you keep her two million dollars. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> two million dollars. <laughs> Shearer's defensive game is so-so, and he's asking for a lot of money, but the Kings do need a star. Well, I hope we get him, but I'm cautious about the money. So day three, uh, here we are live. And uh, Ilya Kovalchuk still hasn't signed. However, now uh, the rumor people are saying that Calgary, Colorado, Philadelphia are now in the mix. Which is pretty much everyone, so I guess everyone's... Uh... Signing Kovalchuk. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Plan B for agents or trades. Boom. Simone Gagne. Mark Eaton. Pavel Kubina. Brett Lebda. Brad Winchester. Joe Corvo. Thomas Caverle. Yuri Letnin. Matthew Lombardi. Bobby Ryan. One of my sources direct messaged me on Twitter tonight. Yes. It said, Kovalchuk signs tomorrow. Yeah. That's what he said. I think I had a different source that said the same thing. Okay. Well, things are looking good then. Yeah. I trust Twitter like it's... Well, Twitter is scripture. I mean, you know, if you have a rumor on Twitter, it is absolutely true. turning into with the Kovalchuk sweepstakes and we just heard word breaking news the New York Islanders are now in it and the favorites offering up a 100 million dollar contract over 10 years Kovalchuk yeah man that guy should go back to Russia the biggest news that we heard today is that the Kings are out of it they're out of it Dean Lombardi has said that they pulled out told Helene Elliott of the Los Angeles Times that they're they're pretty much out of it. What kind of name is Ilya anyways? As of today, July 4th, we have nothing to celebrate. Russians aren't even good hockey players. All right guys, breaking news. The New York Post has announced that Ilya Kovalchuk has signed with the New Jersey Devils, seven years, $60 million, the saga is over. Uh, Los Angeles is looking for second tier. Kovalchuk's a devil. Kovalchuk? That guy's a weenie. Kovalchuk? I hate you. Go to hell, Kovalchuk. I don't know. To me, it's just kind of a sad day to be a Kings fan. Day six of the free agency period and free agents that the Kings have signed. The total is Keith. It's a big goose egg, it's zero. <sighs> oh. 
leftover desperation free agents or trade options. Pavel Dimitra. Randy Jones. Alexander Froloff. Chris Chelios. Dennis Grabeshkov. Paul Correa. Matthew Schneider. Frederick Modine. Evgeny Artukin. Ruslan Fedotenko. I hate the Kings. I do too. that this earthquake happened. At, uh, it was a magnitude 5.4, happened at 4.53 this afternoon, centered near Borrego Springs, about uh, 28 miles south of Palm Springs. So breaking news, the Kings are back in it. Day seven, finally, the Kings are back. Kovalchuk has come crawling back in. He realizes that no one can, is going to pay that. No, no one. Look, I don't like the guy, but it, it makes sense that he was signed. The guy's a jerk, but we still want him. Don't get too excited, because Tim Lawicki made a rare appearance tonight and actually said that the Kings can't afford culture. So we're out of it again. We're out of it again. For a second time. Okay. All right, Kings fans, so it is day eight of the Kovalchuk saga. That's right, Kings fans, day eight, nonstop rumors, predictions, tweets, Facebook likes, MySpace, whatever they do yeah. about there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, but that ends tonight. We finally know where he's going. What's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Oh, and FYI, this just in, Ilya Kovalchuk and his camp have rejected yet another offer from the Los Angeles Kings. The Kings are now out of it. Russia. Oh, I definitely think it's going to Russia. I mean, it didn't make sense. Oh, okay. All right, let's throw out some cash. Ching. 10 years, 100 million. Seven years, 65 million. One year, 11 million. Three years, 33 million. 13 years, 84.5 million. 15 years, 110 million. 7 years, 58 million. 21 years, 90 million dollars. I could honestly care less at this point. Corporal check? Man, I've never heard of him. Didn't that guy sign already? Day 11 here, uh, still watching Kovalchuk here, but we have update here, and that is it. Kovalchuk is flying into LA. Uh, he's going to meet with the, the team, with Dean Lombardi and Brownie. This has been reported on Twitter by Darren Milliard from sportsnet.ca. And so, confirmed by Helene Elliott, so uh, Kovalchuk Watch is officially on in Los Angeles. Places the Kings take Kovalchuk when he's in L.A. Staples Center. Venice Beach. Rodeo Drive for Mrs. Kovalchuk. Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, Pink's Hot Dogs. Lou Robitaille's house. Oh, the bridge Anthony Keyes was talking about. Little Russia in Glendale. Neverland Ranch. The Team L.A. store on Universal City Walk. You gotta think that this thing is... The ink is wet. Oh. Okay. Hold on. We have a source coming in. This is from a very confidential source saying that Ilya Kovalchuk uh, does not look like he's going to sign with the Los Angeles Kings. What? Yep, looks like Kings are out of it. Oh, had a chance he's a king. Get it. I'm here to never say never. No, no, my source is telling me that Kovalchuk signs tonight. The saga continues. Stay tuned as a city, a people, the world, anxiously stands still, waiting for Kovalchuk. <laughs>